famous actor, primetime Vida, and also a basketball player now playing for the Imus Banderas, we have on the score, Gerald Anderson. Hi, Hi Gerald. Hi, Michelle. Grabe, one of the faces right now of the MPBL. That's <laughs> you. At pinapanood ng mga fans. How is it like playing now for a new team in the MPBL? It's nice. Uh... Playing basketball in general, napaka sarap eh. So, yun yung parang stress reliever ko. And to um, be able to play it on yung ganong classing level of competition, parang malaking yun ano, uh, challenge. And um, at least, you know, it keeps me uh, marami pa ng goals na gusto ng gawin at uh, marating. So, uh, it's, it's been a uh, very nice experience. And ever since you came to the Philippines, everybody knows that your passion for basketball is really there. And you've always wanted to compete in a competitive standpoint. So now that we have the MPBL, yeah. now that you're playing competitively, what have you learned? Just the experience itself, syempre, uh, since high school. I mean, high school, yung last uh, systematic basketball ko talaga. Uh, because after that, na naging artista na ako, so puro mga celebrity games, pickup games, mga ganun ganun lang. So whatever um, the experience I've had uh, playing uh, sa MPB has just been a learning experience and dami kong natututunan on and off the court, you know, on um, how a team works, how the team is built, um, yung chemistry ng bawat player, para rin siyang ano, eh, love team eh, or you know, romantic movie. Pag walang chemistry, hindi talaga mag-work. And you have to work on that every yes, single day. Yes. And that's what How we do, do you so balance practice. the practice? Siyempre, you have a busy schedule, yeah. practices for the MPBL, playing games. Mm -hmm. Practice and training is every day. Uh, pag may lunch break uh, or dinner break, malapit lang dito, I'll go to the gym, uh, training ng konti. And um, sa days off ko from taping, I re request ko ng after lunch yung practice para at least after ng taping makakatulog ako ng konti and then practice ako. Yeah. And then games like right now dahil palabas na yung A Soldier's Heart, puro promo kami. So I always request na sana yung interviews would be after 3 p.m. or ganun. But right now, sakto kasi after this, diretso ako sa isang game namin uh, sa MP Bell, sa Laguna. So, um... Kapag may gusto talaga, lagi may paraan. And that's such a big commitment to be part of a team. It's like being part of a teleserie, diba? Ang yeah. dami mong kasama, working with so many people. Different Who is the yeah. person or the teammate that you really enjoyed working now in the Imus Banderas? Oh, well, syempre, JJ Helterbrand, you know, the um, MVP of the PBA, uh, re, uh, naging MVP siya, and champion with Hinebra. Ang daming, ano eh, yung just yung professionalism and you experience uh, every practice more than the games um you practice talaga just being a professional and yung 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 knowledge niya sa game and daming dami ko natutunan and seeing how he performs how he acts yeah. have you ever thought of playing in the PBA maybe after huh. MPBL <laughs> uh and dami ko pang gustong patunayan muna sa MPBL and um syempre bata pa lang eh naman talagang pangarap ko eh not, not even joining show business uh yun talaga yung pangarap ko it's either maging, maging basketball player or maging sundalo wala naman din mag-iisip na ano uh, akalain na maglalaro din ako sa MPBL so you never know that's true and when you did join a lot of people a lot of fans turned and watched you have your fans as an artist but now um you basketball fans are you know I'm gaining respect from the basketball fans and passion ko yung basketball so it's very important para sa akin. And I'm sure you experienced this firsthand. Yung passion ng mga athletic fans or ng mga sports yes, fans. Yes, iba yeah. din talaga. Both sides, ha? Uh, lalo na pag home game ng kalaban. You know? Uh, walang, wala na eh. Sa, simula, sa first quarter lang ar artista ka eh. Pero pag lumalamang na ang team mo, ano na? Kahit ba talaga, sa mga kalaban? Hindi see... ba sila na natatakot yeah. or nasa starstruck sa'yo sa court? No, no. Uh, talagang bigayan dun talaga. And... Um, kita niyo naman siguro sa mga first games ko talaga last se first season uh, talagang sobrang laking adjustment para sa akin because walang bigayan doon yeah everybody and, loves to play and everybody wants to win any memorable time that nabigyan ka ng isang matinde or <laughs> hindi naman siguro any player na nakakaalala mong medyo personal to ha I, I, I don't know magsabi ng pangalan pero hindi hindi wala naman yung personal wala naman it's just yung yung, yung uh, drive mo para manalo eh you know, hindi maiwasan na talaga magkakabanggaan kayo. And it's part of the game. 
Um, diba? That's it. Kaya, kaya tayo nagpa-practice, kaya tayo nag-workout and nagpa-training para handa tayo. And what's your most memorable experience so far now being in the MPBL? Well, honestly, I'm just very blessed na I get to play and I find, uh, you know, um, I'm healthy and uh, I'm healthy enough to play. Tapos, yung team namin, you know, dahil sa MPBL, nakarating kami sa ibang bansa. You know, we played in Dubai, we played in Canada during the Christmas break. So, maganda yung naging experience namin and experience din para sa ibang ka-teammates ko. You know, yung ibang ka-teammates ko, um, laking probinsya katulad ko. So, para may experience namin yan dahil lang sa bola na yan, it's, it's very amazing. And yun ang lagi ko sinasabi sa mga teammates ko na every minute, every second, go hard kasi this could be taken away from us. Yeah. And in that game in Canada, go hard ka talaga because in that exhibition game, uh, you scored the game winner. How was that feeling? How did it go? I was okay. okay. Uh, ano naman eh, it just shows na, you know, if kapag may gusto ka talaga, you always find a way. Ayoko ng special treatment eh, so... Um, ako mismo nagsasabi na coach siguro yung iba muna yung mga nagpa-practice na everyday na doon. When you play in the hard court, you're expected to play a certain way. Do you yeah. feel that pressure? How do you respond um, to that? Siguro mga fir- yung first season, mga first few games, uh, akala ng mga tao, first game ko parang magsiscore ng 60, 80 points eh. Hindi diba? ba nangyari? Parang De, nangyari. No, no. <laughs> I, wala. Kahit one point. Hindi ako nagsiscore na kahit one point. Because na culture shock ako eh. Ano mo yung parang, okay. And then, but that's, that's, and I'm so happy na nangyari yun because I always go back to those moments na parang, that gives me the motivation to become better. More things yes. to come for you. Yes. And we'll be talking more about basketball and what other activities you'll be doing when the score returns. Kung si Raver Cruz yung nagpapantay sa akin, <laughs> pwede naman sa kanan lang. Sa <laughs> Pero kung si na John Wilson or si na Cardona, yun, kailangan medyo mag-adjust ka na ng konti. But, you know, uh, <laughs> magkakarit si Raver pag pinanood niya ito. Hindi, magkakarit si Raver. Saya mo na lang daw sa akin ni Raver. Saya mo na lang. Yun, siya na yun, siya na yun.